that's used in our seated pose to help center and soothe the mind and body, ensuring that our spinal cord is nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken, having control of that spine, with the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Slightly gazing down at the earth or closing your eyes, if that feels good. As we take a nice breath in, hold the breath, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, the center of our chest, going inward, fluttering the eyes down. As we take nice, subtle breaths, focusing on our heart chakra. Focusing on self, being mindful of self. So today is Valentine's Day. A lot of people choose to spend this day with couples, with loved ones. But sometimes it's a beautiful thing to spend time for and with yourself. Going inward for self-care and self-love is a necessity. And when we work on our heart chakra, Self-soothing is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So outside sources are a wonderful thing to have, but being able to self-soothe and self-regulate is amazing because the power comes from within. That is why self-care, self-love, and the ability to be with yourself in quiet and comfort is everything. As we relax here in our seated prayer, Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Relaxing our palms down to our legs as we come into a bound position, either diamond or butterfly. The bottoms of our feet are connected. This is a hip opener. We are using this pose to relax and soothe our inner thighs. Our tummies are tight at our navel. Our heart chakras open, our chin is up. We're gonna flow into our bound cow pose, allowing our head to relax between our shoulders. Feeling that heart chakra open. We are willing, we are acceptable to positivity and good things. Two more breaths of cow. As we exhale to cat, breathe in that chin to the clavicle, tummies tucked at the navel, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. We are closing in on that heart chakra, squeezing it in, feeling the comfort of our self-love, squeezing that heart chakra in. Cat pose, two more breaths. Flow into our cow, chin relaxes, I'm sorry, head relaxes between our shoulder blades, heart chakra opens up. Exhale into our cat. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly pose, relaxing here, three breaths, eyes slightly gaze down. We're going to use our hands to bring our knees and we're going to cross our feet and our ankles going into a tabletop pose coming on to our hands and our knees knees are hip distance apart we're going to flow down to our cow tummies come downward towards the earth you'll feel that curvature in your lumbar spine chin comes slightly up you'll feel this in your lower back this is a nice relaxing pose for the lumbar spine it helps relax us and ease, no back pain. We are in our cow. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to our cat, tucking that tummy in, spinal cord goes up towards the heavens, breathing that chin to clavicle. Three breaths. 
two breaths. Flow into our cow. And exhale, cat. Come into our table. We're gonna come up to our knees, just lifting the body up. We're gonna flow into our camel pose, relaxing our hands on the lower parts of our bottoms. Fingertips facing downward towards the earth. This is our camel. This is a slight back bend. We're gonna allow the shoulders to melt towards the back. Head melts between the shoulders. Feeling that heart chakra open. We are susceptible, we are willing, we are capable of love. Love for others, love for self as we welcome a new and positive love. Allowing that heart chakra to open, to breathe, to be willing. Just relax and hear this camel pose, feeling that back bend as we relax and soothe our spine. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up, we are on our hands and our knees. I'm sorry, we are on our knees. We're gonna flow on down to a puppy pose, allowing our torso to come downward towards the earth. Our heart chakra connects to the earth. Our buttocks is high in the air. Our third eye chakra, our forehead is relaxing on the earth. Feeling that heart chakra connect to the earth. Connect to our ancestors, connect to who we are. Connect to what we love. Feeling a heart chakra just balanced. Feeling soothing, feeling one with the earth, feeling one with the environment, feeling one with nature. As we welcome in positive change, as we welcome in love, hope, and inspiration. Here in our puppy pose, optioning to bring our palms together, flowing into a puppy pose, prayer hands, palms above the head, if that feels good for you. Eyes are gazed down. Shoulder blades are melted forward. Six natural breaths of silence. Optioning to flow into child's pose if that feels best for you. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Puppy pose, pray your hands. We're going to breathe our palms in front of us, coming into an extended puppy pose. Palms are flat on the earth, extended in front of us. Two breaths. With our palms connected to the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose. Feel in the spinal wave, relax and soothe the spine as we breathe. Our tummies tight, and we're going to wave our buttocks towards the heels of our feet, and then wave our bodies forward, just feeling that spinal wave like a wave in the ocean, always moving. The ocean waters always flow. As we allow our mind and our bodies to always flow, we're going to flow through good times, we're going to flow through bad times, we're going to flow through uncertainties, we're just going to always move. Never stop breathing, never holding our breath. Two more breaths, spinal waves. We're going to find that pause coming into our table. Just for a second, we're gonna come on down to our tummies, coming into a Spanx pose. Relaxing on our tummies, coming onto our forearms. Legs are straight towards the back. Shoulders are not shrugged. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Feeling that heart chakra open when we don't shrug. Chin is up. Eyes are slightly gazed down. Here in our Spanx pose, this is a slight back bend. Allowing our minds and bodies to soothe and relax. Taking nice, subtle breaths as we relax, silent meditation for three breaths. Two breaths. Here in our Spanx pose, we're gonna place our palms flat on the earth and we're gonna use our palms to push our torso away from the earth. We are in that seal pose, like the seal or a mermaid on a rock. Using our hands to push our torso away Feeling that little bit deeper back then. We are in our seal pose. Chin is up, heart chakras open. Two more breaths. 
flowing back down to our Sphinx pose, coming onto our forearms, relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. As we flow into our sleeping crocodile, we're gonna cross our palms in front of us, stacking our hands on top of each other as our chin, cheeks, or forehead relaxes on our palms as we take a nice breath. Exhale, allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward, fill any eyes, gaze down as we are connecting to our environment. Fill in a heart chakra, soothe and relax. Fill in the body, go inward. Fill in self love. One more breath. Two breaths. As we slowly come out, we're gonna flow into a Superman, Supergirl, breathing those arms in front of us, taking those feet, those thighs off the earth. Superman, Supergirl is a slight back bend. We're just feeling that body relax and soothe. And our Superman, our arms come up, chin is slightly up as well. Two more breaths. Exhaling our arms towards the back, locust pose. Swimming those arms towards the back. Maybe our palms are down, maybe they are upwards. And this locust pose is also a back bend. As we, as we lift our arms up, we'll feel our heart chakra open a little more. Yes, we are working on that heart. We are working on ourself. Two more breaths. We're gonna keep on bending that back here, flowing into a bow pose, maybe in a half bow, connecting that right hand to that right ankle. If we're able, full bow, left hand to left ankle, using our hands to lift our torso further from the earth, feeling that heart chakra open more, feeling our minds and our bodies open more. We are willing to accept love. We are willing to accept change. We are willing to accept people into our lives as long as they're positive, as long as they are beneficial, as long as they are useful setting our boundaries, but at the same time, allowing in new love. Because self-love will only allow us to have people and things in our lives that bring us love. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling down, coming into a locust pose. Hands come downward. Ah. We're gonna hang out in this locust pose. We're gonna flow into a sleeping locust, allowing those shoulders to melt forward. Third eye chakra forehead connects to the earth. Sleeping locust, filling those eyes, gaze down. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Relaxing and soothing here, four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Mm. And coming back up to that locust pose, coming out of that sleeping back into locust, lifting those palms up, lifting those legs and feet up, locust pose, chin is up, two breaths. Exhaling those arms forward, Superman, Supergirl, feeling that swim. We are swimming our bodies here. Superman, Supergirl. Exhaling to our spanks, bringing our forearms onto the earth, lifting our shoulders upwards. Sorry, lifting our torso upwards, shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Eyes gaze down. Maybe in our spanks pose, we are in prayer hands with our forearms connected to the earth and our palms together, maybe. Taking the time to go inward, focusing on self. Three more breaths of silence. As we relax and we're gonna flow into our baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso, slightly pushing our bodies away from the earth. This is very similar to seal, but we are in that baby cobra. Elbows are slightly bent as we flow into our cobra, straightening those elbows. This is a deeper back bend. Our heart chakra comes further away from the earth. Our chin is up. 
Two more breaths. Exhale into up dog, untucking those toes, taking our thighs off the earth. Lifting that chin slightly up as our eyes gaze downward. Still in this back bend. Flow into down dog, gazing at the feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch here in our down dog. Optioning to walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we are walking our dog, as we are pedaling our feet, may we be mindful of the things we need to walk away from and mindful of the things we need to walk towards too. Just feeling it, feeling the strength being built here in our upper parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, we're gonna walk our feet forward, complete forward fold. Allowing that torso to relax over that thigh. This is a full body stretch. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. Head melt downward towards the feet. Optioning to yogi walk our feet slightly apart and flowing into a rag doll. If that feels good, connecting the hands to the elbows. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, feeling that body soothe as our body stretch and lengthen. In our ragdoll, we can option to rock or sway from side to side. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Walking our hands forward, bringing our feet back together, down dog. Gazing at our feet. Exhaling into a three-legged dog. Lifting that right leg up in the air. Feeling that stretch. Gazing at that foot. We're going to bend that right foot to that left buttocks. Opening up that hip. And if we choose, we can hang out here. Or we can flow into a wild thing. Allowing that torso, allowing that body to flow over. Lifting that heart chakra up nice, big, and strong. Feeling the heart chakra flow. We are open. We are supported. Acceptable. We are in our new love, new path, new meaning. Heart chop. Two more breaths. Exhale back to down dog. Gazing at the feet. We're going to keep on flowing. Three legged dog, opposite side. Left foot flows up in the air. Gazing at that foot. Bending that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip flexor. We can hang out here or we can flow into our wild thing, allowing our bodies to flow over. Lifting that heart chakra up, feeling that full body stretch. Our full wheel, I'm sorry, our wild thing pose is a complete heart chakra opener. We are opening up our chest. We are breathing. We are welcoming. Two more breaths. Exhaling back out to our down dog. Two more breaths. Walking our feet towards our hands, back in that complete forward fold. And taking a nice deep, deep breath as we exhale. Feeling our heart chakra to relax and soothe. Slightly gazing the eyes down. Here in this full forward fold, we are soothing and stretching. Relaxing here. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to our half forward fold. Coming up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side. <sighs> As we breathe out, palms above our heads. And our standing salute, palms together. Right chakras open, chin is up. Exhale to our standing salute. Come into our standing prayer, palms right center. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from the ears. We're going to work on our tree pose, starting on the right side, lifting that right foot slightly off the earth. Maybe it's right above our ankle. We can option to lift it up higher above our ankle or in our inner thighs. But we are balancing 
our mind and our bodies. We can flow into cactus. We can bring our palms above our hands. We can come into a standing tree. Pray our hands. Whatever feels best for you here. Our tree pose allows us to balance and go out as we are focused. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling down, coming to our Tadasana. Relax the next feet. Palms at the sides, heart chakras open as our shoulder blades are nice and high. Maybe squeezing our shoulder blades together to our spinal cords, feeling that heart chakra open when we squeeze our shoulder blades together. Our chin is up. Here on our Tadasana, we are opening up that heart chakra. Two more breaths. Breathing to our salute, palms flow above our head, palms together. Exhale, prayer, palms come heart center. Feeling those shoulders relax down with a wave from the ears. As we flow into our tree, opposite side, left foot comes right above those, our ankle, or we can lift it up higher, or we can bring it in our inner thigh. Whatever you choose here in our tree pose, coming into any palm hands that feels good for you, Balancing and soothing. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale down, coming back to that Tadasana pose. Palms are at the side. Relaxing and soothing. Exhale into half forward fold, hanging at the hips. Breathing our palms at heart center. As we bend our knees, coming into a chair pose. We can stay in our prayer hands. We can extend our arms in front of us, coming into that extended chair. With our chin up, heart chakras open. Three more breaths. Breathing our palms inward to our prayer. As we twist the body towards the right, chair pose twist. Three breaths. breaths. Exhale, center. Chair pose, twist opposite sides. Two more breaths. Exhale, center. Two breaths. Exhale, half forward fold, straightening those knees. Backs are straight, gaze forward. Taking a nice subtle breath. Exhale. As we flow to a complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, feet come together, down dog. Exhale to high plank, shifting that weight forward, tummy to tight. Two more breaths. Exhale down to a low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat, the yoga mat for two breaths. Coming on to our tummies, we are back in that space pose. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Shoulders relax down with away from the ears. Here in our space pose, may we feel our heartbeat regulate. Feel in our heart slow down. Come back to normal. Come back to normal rhythm, shall I say. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. We are not shrugged. Our heart chakras open. Our chin is up. We are going inward. We are relaxing in our moment. May we feel our peace. May we feel our comfort. May we know our ability to self-soothe and self-regulate. Self-love. 
self-care is a necessity. I think we all know that we cannot pour from an empty cup. Meaning we must take care of ourselves if we want to take care of anyone else. Also, we must love ourselves completely. Setting boundaries when needed. Knowing when to let go. And also knowing when to allow new things into your lives. Listening to your intuitions and your feelings where you know the answer. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Flowing to that baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torsos, lifting our torso away from the earth as we flow into that cobra, straightening those arms. Exhale into up dog, untucking those toes, taking the thighs off the earth. Flow into our table, coming onto our hands and our knees as we drop down to pow. Tummy come down with towards the earth, chin is up. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we cross our feet at our ankles. We're going to find our bodies on our buttocks. Coming into a seated pose. Any seated pose that feels good for you. I'm going to come into a cow face legs. <sighs> as we are using this time to go inward. Relaxing and soothing. As we end our practice. Today. May we take with us out of this practice what we may need, what we may want, and what we feel is soothing and relaxing for us in our lives. As our tummies are tight, shoulders relax downward away from the ears, spinal cord is nice and long. Our chin is relaxed, our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, we are in that prayer. Our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. Eyes are gazed down with a pose. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time enough. Now I'd like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.